Why play for your top? Well, she is one of the best duelists in the game. She is an amazing split pusher. She is very strong early, mid, and late game. And she has ridiculous mobility with her Q. However, she is reliant on damage, so she does struggle from behind. And she doesn't bring any lockdown at all, which makes team fighting harder. For your passive as she marks nearby enemy champions with weak spots. If she attacks the champion at the angle of the weak spot, she does a large amount of additional true damage and gains a burst of movement speed. After she attacks one, she marks them on a different angle, or after 15 seconds pass without it being detonated, the mark will change. For Q is a short range dash, which upon completion will stab the closest enemy, ward, or structure. However, it will prioritize weak spots on champions and enemies it will kill. When fully leveled, this ability has a 6 second cooldown before ability haste. And if she hits an enemy champion, the ability's cooldown is reduced by 50%, allowing her to absolutely spam this dash. For yours, W is a straight line skill shot, which has a 0.75 second channel time. During this time, she parries all incoming damage, CC, and negative effects. After this time, she stabs in the direction, dealing damage, slowing them, and reducing their attack speed. And if she parries the CC effect, the stabbed enemy is stunned instead of slowed. For yours, E is an auto attack reset which causes her to gain a large amount of attack speed for her next two attacks. The first attack will slow and the second one always crits. Fiora's ultimate has a passive where her passive's movement speed buff got even more movement speed. The active targets an enemy champion and shows weak spots in all four corners which deal true damage and gains her passive movement speed bonus when near the target. If she procs all four weak spots or if that target dies, a large circle is created on the floor which provides massive healing to all allies. For combos, a great one is to use ultimate and then start the fight at an angle between two vitals. Attack one then move slightly to use the auto attack reset on the next one. Use Q to dash through the target to get the third one before attacking the final one for a massive amount of damage and healing. There are some crazy combos she can do, but this is a great one to master first. For matchup, she can struggle against champions who can easily harass her and kite her with her lack of lockdown, and she has an easier time against champions with easy hard CC to counter and that she can get onto and out-duel. For runes, take this. Grasp is actually amazing for dueling. For build order, start Blade and Pot into Tier 2 Boots, a Divine Sundra, and a Rav Hydra. After this, Death Dance is great against AD champions and more against AP. Holebreak is a great split pushing option, and Shoujin is a great hyper offensive option. Pick up any of these is needed and all of these are viable too. For skill orders, start Q then W then E before maxing Q then E then W taking ult whenever you can. For summoner spells, take flash and teleport. Starting the game, Fiora can bully a lot of matchups. Between her ability to get onto a target with her Q and her ability to deny damage and lockdown with her W, look to proc your grasp as often as possible for even better trades. And after you started a fight, you can either chase them down with more Qs or simply use Q again to disengage. However, the great thing with Fiora is even though she's strong early, she still scales incredibly well, which means there's no pressure to put out tons of aggression and you can simply farm to be powerful later. Level 6 is a massive power spike for her and when she has her ultimate you want to isolate your opponent and get on top of them. If you're able to proc all four vitals you get a massive amount of healing and it's almost impossible to lose a duel. Entering late game team fights where she is much better at split pushing she can still provide amazing value. You want to play a sort of assassin role where you wait for the fight to start before going in. You have no CC of your own so you never want to be the one out front engaging. Wait for your chance to dash into their backline with the ultimate to quickly get tons of damage out. You deal so much true damage on top of your normal damage that this target will quickly go down giving your team a massive AoE heal. From here enemies will want to disengage from your massive AoE heal so chase them down with Q. 